the thing the nice thing about being bald is that it's very freeing it is very freeing and liberating and very courageous not just because i have a bald head every time there's one with a bald i'm like they have so much courage this is so cool <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Soy Corner for those joining us for the very first time. Welcome y'all. My name is Arlunda BTW and today we're going to talk about things you should know for shaving your head. <sighs> right, let's get into this. There is absolutely no right time to shave your head. If you're thinking about when is the right time, there is no right time to shave your head. Hopefully you don't want to do it in winter though. Mm, let's just think about that now talking about no right time but <clears throat> there's honestly no right time to shave your head i mean you'll handle the weather and all of that if you decide to do it in winter but there is no right time just have the courage to do it once you feel like you're ready literally shaving your head is low upkeep it does not mean there is no upkeep it does not mean you don't take care of your scalp or your short buzz hair depending on how you shave your head if you're gonna go clean like me you're gonna literally have to shave your head maybe a couple of times a week depending on how quickly your hair grows mine for example grows very fast so every third day of the week I have to shave my head so that I can get the clean cut that I really like because I like the scalp that's literally me properly like clean that's me the fuzz come out very quickly and then i'm just like mm, don't want it you will catch some feelings there are people who caught feelings seeing their scalp like either it will make you like very fearful oh my god humble people say some people will cry because they've never shaved their head before so they feel like so attached to their hair they will literally cry because they've seen their scalp I'm also very bold and free me it's very like bold and freeing that's the feeling that i get um but yeah it literally is person to person so i'm gonna be like eh, it's just hey someone will be like oh, i'm gonna shape my head i can't no and i just why did i do you know what i mean that's why there's literally no right time to do this because if you decide this is it you're gonna have feelings whether it's the right time or you know or not once you like properly so hence that no right time that's why i put no right time at the day at the top because then you must also consider that first you must be like i don't know if i'm gonna cry or not if i will i be angry if i shave my head am i going to regret shaving my head my feelings and then everybody will have an opinion everybody will have an opinion everybody's gonna be like oh no what you got is so you shouldn't be that clean you must do this and oh my god and then it's about how do you do it like that oh my gosh your head is so my head is not like that in the stairs you don't know they're staring because your head looks nice or they're staring because they're like oh my god it's just your head or like she's a belly or is it like or is it like or is it like she looks so cute but people won't tell you these things they just look at you and the one who can a common thing about, about why did you shave your head again? Yeah. Maybe you should have just done that stuff. I think that should have worn the brush so nicely for you. Maybe that would have worked. You know, it's not good for black women to not have hair. Your hair is like your crown. That is not so cool. Why are you shaving your head? I don't know. And then all the questions. I don't know. Why do you use her? You don't have bumps on your head. Why do you use her? You don't have any. Thing. <laughs> you're going to look out for that and yeah so, guys, some of these things that i really touched already on, like my first video that i made about going bold because I, that thing is like, like two years old now and every time i like i think about it now i'm like it's true and that people want to touch your head and pet your head and like i did this and don't touch my head thank god people can't hug people anymore because that used to be the thing people like hug you just so they can like, pet your head don't do it. Slap you. If you are going to shave your head and do like a fancy style, please go get a professional to do it for you. Yeah, you don't want to attempt anything fancy when you're doing it at home. No, you don't. Honestly, you don't want to do anything fancy. Unless you're really a professional barber, you know how to shave your own head. But other than that, 
No, you want to do something fancy, you rather go find someone who can do it, something that's fancy for you the first time and then maybe you can try and replicate what they have done, you know, but please don't do something fancy at home. If you're shaving your head for the very first time, you must please look out for skin sensitivity. Like if you're going to go like really bold, bold like me, you're going to feel that your skin is a bit sensitive. Like even on touch, it's going to be a little bit sensitive because remember your scalp is not used to literally being shaved. It will take a few shavings before your skin becomes accustomed to the fact that it's being shaved on a regular. But the first time I remember when I did it, it was like painful. Because I've been doing it like it was like a year, I think, before I, I when was the last time I shaved my hair completely? Maybe six months or so. And so when I did it um, initially, um, yeah, it actually was a little bit sensitive to touch. So you must just look out for that on your scalp as well. If you're going to do this thing at home and you're going to shave at home all the time by yourself and you're like me. At home maintenance requires a few supplies because the barber is expensive. So let me gather all my equipment together. Number one, you're going to need some shaving cream. The shaving cream that I use now is this Nivea for men. You, uh, a lot of the products you're going to use on your supply list are literally men products because they shave themselves more than we do. So you're gonna find all of this like and the guys sections um whether you are this game whichever it's mostly the guys section so again nivea men sensitive shaving gel instant protection this is for um, sensitive skin it doesn't have any alcohol i try to stay away from anything that has alcohol when it comes to putting stuff on my scalp and i love this gel it smells so good i feel like i could leather myself in this thing in my face the whole time but it's so good like if i was a guy i would use this for my face too i'm just saying i'm not sponsored by nivea but i'm just saying this is really 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 cool i used to use the clicks one back in the day now this is my second bottle and i love it oh, this is, it's not really supposed to be it lasts you a long time it's just i love it so much sometimes it's just you just play with it you just play with it it's like leathers up that it looks like but that literally goes a long way it smells so good <laughs> it's not normal it's not normal but anyway so this that's the, the shaving cream that i use use one of your choice of course i'm just gonna remain like this because it smells so good and you're going to need um razors or a buzzer a buzzer is in a machine so i use this razors from beak i bought them in clicks they were like um a hundred bucks i think 80 something bucks or was it a hundred and something bucks i forgot but they're like eight um of this blade thingy keys here that you can literally concentrate there you go so you can change those blades um you can remove here's the shaver that i use and you can remove um let's not kill the thing now see you can remove this after a couple of uses you can literally remove this one and then put yeah a new one from so the set that's here what that looks like literally right there i like a three three blade or four blade type of shaver shaving razor because i feel like it's just much smoother and also it is aloe vera here on the kathingiki so when you are pressed it doesn't like so much on your on your it doesn't hurt your scalp also it's like it releases those gels that like make your skin look feels a little bit like nice so i like those triple action type of like blades all of them are like three i don't have three i'll probably do like the gillette one that has fours i'll do those but i like this one i don't like the single ones at all plus they they, they, they shave they, they they help not to miss a lot of hair this is for like a proper clean cut this is what i use for every third day some people prefer this because they get um, irritated skin using this one they get like dry skin or they like they cut themselves they don't like that so they'd rather use a machine this is a new machine that I bought my other one was broken but yeah I found this one in clicks and it was 130 bucks was on sale and yeah I just take the basic one because it's just for my head it was like four guard situations I don't need those I really don't even put a guard on I just um, is it sexy a girl talking about a guard when I'm talking about a machine that's this <laughs> I'm like sitting here thinking, yeah, I sound very sexy talking about this guard thing. Yeah. Anyway, I don't put a guard on. 
and then i shave my head i learned to shave my head from my dad by the way so that's basically why i can do this and yeah so very basic it's still in this thing because i haven't used it because i've been using this now that you have your razors and stuff covered you also need an alcohol rubbing alcohol or an estrogen um um shaving um shaving spirit what do you call them shaving after shave it's almost like an after shave that you put on to help this literally i put on a oopsie i put on a cotton bud i just remove cotton bud after i'm done like shaving and then i dip just a little bit and i usually just do it on literally the hairline area like that because that's where bumps actually grow so i do a little bit dab 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 just like that dab 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 it helps with ingrown hairs and also helps with like air that has been chuffed or you know from the scraped from the shaving and also helps with that also minimizes a lot of irritations you will get on your skin and mine is almost like um pepperminty type of like ruby uh, rubbing alcohol i got this one in this cam it's 70 percent of course alcohol and it cools and invigorates it's like a very cool bath it's not like spirit that like burns you this one is like someone put vicks in the alcohol like that and of course you need a good moisturizer you can either get moisturizers from the men section i think they have the one of the best moisturizers because they shave their heads anyway so they have one of the best moisturizers i don't have any of their moisturizers because i use normal vaseline vaseline has really worked very well for my um for my skin and my scalp and even for my natural hair that's literally the thing and always end up working so well for my scalp don't come at me with your thingies but it has really like worked i've never had issues but um yeah i've added um this um argan or argan oil and i got this oil from clicks i mean from pep and this oil is like i use it as like a hot oil treatment or just for as an additional hydrator if i need to for my scalp so you're like yeah but i didn't think i need so much stuff for like upkeep like i said it is low upkeep but it doesn't mean there's no upkeep in this whole situation and then other important thing is of course spf guys you must use sunscreen to protect your scalp whether it's summer or winter especially if you're going for clean cut like this you don't want to have like sunburns on your head or like flaking skin because you're in the sun for too long no one that so please make sure that you also put sunscreen on your scalp i do that every single day whether you're indoors or not your house has windows you need the sunscreen it's really good for you you'll find this this for bumps and stuff there's this cheap yeah yeah smooth for solution for ingrown hairs razor bumps razor rash itchiness irritation caused by shaving so you also use this they say that apply directly to affected area using the morning and at night until your skin clears stay smooth and prevent irritation use daily after shaving I used to do this before I started waxing my underarms because I got a lot of irritations from shaving and it really really works. For my head I don't really get irritations like that because I do take care honestly of my scalp and I did like a lot of research regarding look at people's what the guys are saying about their scalps and what is happening and shaving and stuff like that and even some girls who have got bald who have like um, filmed their experience and so I've just combined my own and I've not had any bumps any skin irritations because i really make it a point to do it right for myself and some other products that i like to add that also helps with like bumps and one of them is literally like puma you can also put puma in the areas where you have like irritations and stuff like that that also helps that's what i use it really 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 helps and or i think it's the ointment in the thing or the anaconda this ointment here also helps i literally put this on when i just finished um shaving and i had i've washed my head properly i've done the alcohol dabbing everything is properly washed before i apply my final like thick moisturizer i just apply in areas that are prone to to be irritated mine is mostly and every most people are at the back of the head so at the back of the head i'll apply in those spots that feel a bit irritated apply 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 like you'll do with a bump cream apply apply and then on top of my moisturizer and then sunscreen right so that's basically what i do or you can do this at night house because i would do it twice a day also and then you would hold in like 
just in those areas that look like they're irri seem like they're irritated or feel like they're irritated apply the puma this one or the bum cream and those things nothing i tell you smooth you don't want to use so much of this mental stuff because on your head you feel like you're burning so you must tread lightly and then the other also accessory that i also like to use is literally this after gel this after gel is like tea tree oil aloe vera oil evening primrose oil you can actually use aloe vera gel also but i like this one simply because what happens is this one is almost like an aloe vera it soothes the skin you would usually put this on when you've been out in the sun for a long time you didn't put on like sunscreen and you, your skin feels burnt you put this one on to calm your skin i do the exact same thing with this when it comes to shaving i'll put this in the fridge to cool for a moment anyway for like five or ten minutes before i start shaving i'll do this first and then five minutes later just with a nice almost lukewarm towel wet towel i will wipe the it off and then go in with them in those areas that i need to do the alcohol spot 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 not no and then you can then go in in those after the alcohol with either the anaconda or puma or the bump cream places and then you go over with your moisturizer all over the head and then you put your sunscreen on and then you're good to go does that make sense so you must not forget that you need to shampoo your scalp the same way you would do your hair because now that your head is exposed to the elements if the wind is blowing it just lands on your scalp so which means your scalp is thin as you like getting dirty properly dirty now because it's exposed so you want to make sure that you have a proper what shampoo and conditioning routine again please make sure that you add hot oil not again because i said hot oil treatment but make sure that you do like a hot oil treatment for your scalp not every day but it could be like every third day or so just put a little bit of your favorite oils tea tree oil argan oil all of that nice put them together put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds to make it too hot it's a scalp and then um you put it on your head and you put like a shower cap thingy for it to like penetrate and then once you remove it you like <laughs> massage your scalp, massage your scalp, massage your scalp, massage your scalp, massage your scalp. <sighs> like that. You take everything off and then nice. Oh, make sure that you do sleep with like a certain like dookie. What is a dookie? Kakewa. What's a kakewa in English? I forgot. Alrighty dear. Scarf. Head scarf. There we go. Left to ready dear. Dookie, you can, uh, you can put a like a nice satin headscarf or a satin cap, you know, on your head. It's also very good so that you, when you if you don't have any like satin pillow and you have like cotton ones, your head your head does not shuff. The friction also is not good for your scalp, you know, with the pillow stuff, cotton. You must make sure that you shield your head. Use your SPF if you need to. If you're going out in the sun, make sure you wear a hat. But or still moisturize your scalp. I mean, still put some yeah moisturize and sunscreen, and then you can put on a cap if you're going to go out in like stay in the sun for the longest time. You don't want to be have a sunburn, and walk away with a headache because you are really exposed. Um, in winter, try and get like wraps and stuff like that. So you must just women now just wraps and all of that stuff, um, and hats for winter and all of that good stuff so that you can protect your scalp and also so you don't get cold because you I went out today it was so cold my poor ears and I at the top and I at the back I just stayed by the neck oh my god it was so cold I'm just saying I'm also so bad I actually don't have like a tukki I must call get get tukki oh by the way don't forget to accessorize with your bald head don't forget to accessorize your bald i am literally getting like into this like elizabeth situation here and i can get like look at how cute that is i think they made this for kids i don't know why i bought them but i like it i like this kind of thing this is so cute i don't know what you call it elizabeth in english at all but it's a headband head is that a headband what you call it but i like how cute it looks this is a whole different dimension i'm gonna put it this far so you can like so nice there we go so I like the way that it looks, don't forget to accessorize like earrings and all of that stuff, however it feels and I like a little bit of necklaces and if I do do a necklaces I don't really do like long earrings because I have that and I have that, it's just too much and makeup, it's a bit a lot. Honestly, I feel like at home maintenance, if you're just going to do something simple, it's the best way because guys, the power is expensive. 70 bucks. 
someone to shave my head bald. Seventeen bucks. And if my hair grows so quickly that every third day I'm gonna shave my head. Just thinking about every third day I'm at the bar. Oh, it's a lot of money. Anyway, so that is the things that you should know if you wanna go bald in 2021. And don't be afraid of everybody's opinion and their mamas, please. Don't be afraid of that. Just be there, be fair, be you, and enjoy. Your hair goes back much quicker than you think it does, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm done. Um, if you have any questions regarding shaving and all that stuff, put them in, put them down in the comment section. I will definitely answer if you have any questions regarding a bald head, 